everyone. Welcome. I'm just fixing the. Uh -huh. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ritnika and you have reached Natural Vibration. So today we're going to be channeling the Divine Masculine. I think it's been a while since I have done the Divine Masculine. Um, the Divine Masculine Speaks reading to the Divine Feminine. And I think I'm going to show you the cards so it's easier. One second, just changing the settings for you. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to start um, channeling the Divine Masculine. I don't know if you guys saw the full moon reading, but it is absolutely beautiful. Please check out the full moon reading. A uh, lot of changes happening when it comes to the Twin Flame Union. I'm very excited. Once again, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. So if you wish to book a private reading, you can right now. My turnaround time is just two to three days because I like to get them out as quickly as possible. You can log on to my website, naturalvibrations.in, or you can go to the description box below and there's details about how to book a session with me, how to book card readings, also what decks I use. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the decks I use, I've put links to them so that you know which decks I use because hey that's how I discover new decks as well also if you like my readings please do subscribe to my channel that would be great so let's start channeling the divine masculine do you guys feel like there's a big change coming I don't know but I feel it like and I've kind of been telling the universe that look I'm ready I'm ready universe for this change I'm ready for I'm ready to start you know, I'm ready to start. I'm ready to start my life with my twin. I don't know if you've been feeling that, but I don't know. I just feel like big changes are happening, not just for me, but uh, in general for all twin flames. All right. So let's get started. Dear universe, the gods and goddesses, please welcome me to give me just honest readings for the highest good of all twin flames. The universe, I wish to connect with the higher energy of divine masculine. What is the divine masculine wish to tell the divine feminine at this time? What do you want to tell? Come on, Divine Masculine. I know the full moons come. Aha. Ooh, there you go. I'm in a much better headspace now. So first off, the headspace is getting better. The Divine Masculine is already feeling um, a lot better, a lot, you know, a lot um, calmer. Now, obviously, these are generals, and I may be targeting different twin flames in one reading. We don't know. But the first thing is that he is getting a bit more clearer on what he or she wants to happen in their life they're getting to they're getting more clarity as to what this connection is all about so that's good what else is going on divine masculine what else do you want to tell your divine feminine what else do you want to tell her? come on ooh, 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 ooh. a lot of cards fell out i can still feel you so the divine masculine can still feel the divine feminine they can still feel feel the energy feel the connection um i i just have to do something else right now please try and understand so maybe some of the divine masculine still have some small things to take care of before they can come towards the divine feminine but the good news is that their headspace is getting clearer and i think that's really good because up till now if they're very confused about what they want to do they're not going to be able to move forward one more card fell out i still love you perfect all right so right off the bat i'm getting that the divine masculine can still feel the divine feminine they can still they still love them they still feel the energies some of them may have some things to take care of this could be for example if they're in a karmic relationship they might need to uh, break ties they might break up with somebody they might need to move out you know from somewhere they might need to end a marriage could be any of that but others it could be like they live in a different country and they need to sort of make figure out ways of coming coming towards you if you live in a different country or a different city um it could be like they need to you know figure out some work stuff they need to figure out some money stuff whatever it is they might have something to do beforehand but they definitely are in a much better headspace and that's really good because we want them to sort of you know be more relaxed and in the mood so let's get some more so dear universe goddesses please welcome me give me just one what does the divine masculine want to tell the divine feminine at this time? Divine masculine this week after the full moon. What do you want to tell us? What do you want to tell our divine feminine? Woo! Okay. Love who you are. 
You're a divine and wonderful person deserving of all wonderful things that life has to offer. So I feel like this, this card has double meaning and I feel like the divine masculine is sort of coming to the realization that they deserve the best. You know, they're coming to, you know, up till now they've been denying their happiness. They've been denying their whatever it is that they want, which is the divine feminine. But I'm getting now is that the divine masculine is now coming to terms with the fact that he or she deserves the best. They deserve to have everything they want because they are worthy. That was the biggest issue, right? A lot of divine masculines have this issue where they feel they're not worthy. And now they're coming to the realization that they are worthy to go after everything they want. Hence, they're in the better mind space, right? And I also feel like the divine masculine is in a way telling the divine feminine that you have got to believe that you are worthy of the perfect partner as well. I speak to people and I've met a lot of people who tend to settle if you're going to be settling for somebody who isn't your ideal partner, deep down you feel you're not going to do any better, right? So this is what the Divine Masculine is telling you that guess what? You will get something better. You will get who, what you deserve because you are wonderful. So this is all about self-love, being, you know, having the self-worth, self-esteem, know, to know that you will get everything that you want because you deserve it. And then we've got action speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. So the divine masculine definitely feels like they want to express their love through their actions. And they're now realizing that so far they haven't been taking any action to show how much they care for you. Because we have, I still love you, but they haven't told us that, right? The divine masculine has not told the divine feminine that they love them. And now they're coming to that realization that they need to do that, all right? So... Now I'm going to get the room. Woo, romance angel deck. <clears throat> so what else, divine masculine? What else would you like to tell the divine feminine? I'm very happy. I don't know. I've been feeling that. You know, you have that weird feeling in the pit of your tummy where you're like excited. It's like Christmas morning, you know, where you're like, oh my God, you know, something's going to happen. You know, something major is going to happen. And I just, I feel it. And I don't know if it's for me or it's for you guys. It could be for anybody. I don't know. I just feel like something big is about to happen. And I just hope it happens for all of us, right? I want all of us to be happy. <laughs> all right, Divine Masculine. What else do you want to tell us, Divine Feminine? Ooh. Okay, I don't know if you guys saw my full moon reading. If you haven't, please check it out. We had new love. All right? They're telling them, the divine masculine is telling the divine feminine that they're ready to start something new, that they're ready for a new love. Now, that doesn't mean it's a new person, all right? It could mean that they want to re revive the connection that they had with you. Because, say, you guys have been apart. If you come into a new relationship, both of you have grown so much, right? So when you come back together, it's not going to be the same relationship. It's going to be a new relationship, which is much sturdier and deeper and that will last, right? So that's a new love coming in. For some of your divine masculine, they may be with karmic people or they might have been with other people and they're done with that. And now they want new love and they're telling you, I'm ready. I'm ready, divine feminine, for a new love. What else, Divine Masculine? What else? Okay. Mm -hmm. Religious factors and calling in your soulmate. So the Divine Masculine is telling you that they've been called, they are realizing, they're realizing that there's a deeper connection here. Okay. I think they're now coming to complete clear terms that there is something so much deeper in this connection that they are realizing that this is a spiritual connection that no matter how, and I'm not saying they have to be religious, all right? They don't have to be religious. They don't have to be spiritual, but they feel it, right? They feel that there is something deeper with this, with this person, which is the twin, right? Which is you guys. And they're now coming to the realization that they've been asking for that perfect soulmate and that perfect soulmate is you. You know, they've been asking for that perfect person. They've like, you know what? All your prayers and affirmations are coming true. And this is them telling you, Divine Feminine, I know you've been asking for your soulmate to come in. And it's happening because you've got new love. And they're realizing that. They're realizing that, look, all of this is happening and you've got to stay positive. If you still continue with your affirmations, if you continue with your prayers, if you continue and live as if you already have this, 
then it will happen you know but the divine masculine is now coming to the realization that everyone that they have been asked the person that they've been asking for sorry the person that they've been asking for is you you know and now they're ready to see that they're realizing that there's such a deep connection here that they can't deny it <laughs> you're at you all right past life relationship and attraction you attract uh, romantic love by living in the enjoying the moment fully so now they're coming to the realization that with you there is a deep connection with someone from the past so this is them all realizing all waking up all right they're coming to the cons that that realization that you know what i still love this person i still feel her or him i am now i'm getting to understand what the hell's been going on because guess what i deserve happiness i am worthy of happiness and i know i need to take action to show it what do i want i want new love with somebody who i have a past life connection with who i have felt on a deeper level because this is the person i have been wanting up till now all my dreams that i've been asking the universe for she or he will fulfill it and he's coming to the realization that he needs to attract love by being love okay this is going back to self love this is going back to him realizing i'm saying he but it can be a she of course right uh to come to realize that self worth if you love yourself enough you will not settle all right and i tell people that why settle for that job why settle for a mediocre life why settle for the for somebody that you don't love why settle for anything when you deserve everything that you want right and this is what he's coming to realize this is what the divine masculine is realizing okay and they want to tell you that okay so divine masculine what actions are you willing to take actually no i'm sorry let's ask them what's blocking them sorry this is the shadow deck so dear universe please tell me dear masculine what is blocking the dear masculine from coming into you? is there any block is it still in his way what is blocking the masculine from coming towards the feminine he said he might have something else to do vengeful interesting non action yeah that's the problem right he's realizing he needs to take action walking away uncomfortable okay what i'm getting is okay first f the first message i got from this card was not that they are vengeful towards you i'm getting that they might have somebody in their lives who may be vengeful now for example if your twin is in a relationship with somebody or is trying to end something with somebody i feel they are afraid of ending situations because that person could be very vengeful that person could get very angry that person could really create difficulties for them or, or or they're currently creating difficulties for them and that's sort of like hindering them all right this is making them very uncomfortable this you know this person and this situation is making them very uncomfortable and they want to walk away but at the same time they're not really doing anything about it because maybe they don't know how to tackle it all right so this is obviously for a few of you not for everyone but i'm getting that there is a situation that is making that they're that they're feeling stuck in where they feel as if um you know that the person they're with is going to re retaliate in a bad way and they're and they're very uncomfortable with that situation but and they really want to walk away but they don't really know how to go ahead and that's why this card has come out that they need to take action you know they need to start taking the action now for some of you some of you it could also mean that they feel like you guys only few i don't i'm not getting for all but for some of you you might get angry at them you know and they're a bit afraid they're afraid that when they because they walked away they walked away from you and uh they're afraid that when they come back you might not you know be as receptive now i'm not saying this is for everyone but this might be for those of you that are still holding on to some anger that might still get pissed off at them so they're a bit afraid and i'm not saying this is real okay this may be like none of you are going to behave this way but this is what they're feeling right so let's get some more clarity on this so you know what 
Or else is blocking the divine masculine. Divine masculine. What else is blocking you? Can you give me some clarity? What else is blocking you? Too many cards fell out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Offer a new direction. Okay, so even though there's this fear or blockage or whatever, they still want to make an offer. They're ready to move in a new direction. They're ready to make an offer. They want to make this offer. All right, they really do. What else? Is there anything else blocking you, or would you are you ready to move forward, divine masculine? Crossroads. Yep. What did I just tell you? I feel like they're at crossroads, and they they're coming to the realization there's somebody that they have this weird, deep spiritual connection with. Whether they know the term twin flame, it doesn't matter. But I also feel there is another person. Who may not take this very well so they are in the other crossroad they've been not moving they have they haven't been taking any action up till now but now they're coming to the realization that this situation is never going to be never going to work out until they're ready to walk away until otherwise they're going to be stuck in the situation which makes them very uncomfortable and they really need to start taking action all right, so they're, they really want to make this offer, but they're coming to the realization that they could be somebody else. So they are at crossroads. So there are some of them that are still trying to figure out how to get out of the mess, which also goes back to the first card where there's something else I need to kind of do beforehand, which is obviously they need to get out of this situation so they can come towards you, right? So let's get what they're going to do in the action space, all right? So dear masculine, what actions are you willing to take in the near future towards the divine feminine in the physical? No more of this 5D bullshit, right? We want the physical now. <laughs> so dear masculine, what actions are you willing to take towards the divine feminine? Guys, happy ending. They're ready to give you the happy ending. They want a happy ending with you. I mean, look this. This month is awesome. I love these readings. They want a happy ending. They want to come close to you. They want the happily ever after. That's what they that's the action they want to take. All right. So what other actions are you going to take? Communication. What did I tell you? compassion so they're going to start showing compassion towards you they're going to start you know they want to communicate and this is the action they're going to take in the near future so let's get some more clarifiers any more action the universe dear masculine what other actions are you going to be taking in the near future towards the divine feminine tell victory they're going to get victorious. They're going to go after what they want. They're going to be happy. You're going to feel happy. What else? Okay, there's been a block. What about the block, universe? What about the block? This block, is it okay? Yep, look at that. There has been a block up till now, but no longer. All right, the wealth card is abundance and you've got the victory card. So up till now, whatever was blocking the divine masculine, that is disappearing. It's done. You've got two cards that say victory, abundance. So whatever this blockage is, this other person, this vengeful energy, this whatever uncomfortable energy, they're going to get out of that. They're wanting to come towards the divine feminine. They want to make this offer of love. They want to communicate and they want happily ever after. I mean, come on. This is like the best reading ever. So I want to pick... How long is it? All right. I want to pick one card from the mermaid deck. Not the mermaid deck. Sorry. This is shadow and light deck. So dear universe, please walk with me. Actually, no. Sorry. I want to pick other cards. I want to pick two cards. I'm going to pick one from this deck and one from the Ganesh deck as well. Because why not? Right? So dear universe, please walk with me to give me just honest readings. For all twin flame. What is the overall energy of the divine masculine towards the divine feminine at this time what's the overall energy okay that card fell out before i could do anything <sighs> violet angel breaking dawn can you see that breaking dawn is all about a new day it is always brightest right the next day after what is it it's always brightest after dark no the, you know the, i don't know what they're saying they're saying right I, I could be very wrong anyway what this card basically talks about is 
it's time for a new day it's time for a new chapter breaking dawn all right there was a freaking that vampire movie right breaking dawn wasn't one of them breaking dawn it's all about a new chapter it's all about starting fresh and the divine masculine's overall energy is all about starting fresh they are ready they're ready to start fresh they're ready to start a new chapter with the divine feminine i feel it i told you i felt it so one last card from the ganesh deck all right universe what is the divine masculine's um, what is the divine masculine going to be doing in the 3d what's the overall energy of the physical the 3d the action that the divine masculine will take towards the divine feminine now that the full moon is past in the near future what is the action main action okay we've got acceptance and steadfastness i want to pick another one because this didn't fall out properly i'm going to pick one more okay one more. what is the overall action action aha there you saw that right you saw that beginnings guys we've got and I, when i pulled when these two cards fell out i i, I knew i should take them but i also found sense that i needed to shuffle some more because another card wanted to come out right so first of all he's going to be dedicated to what he wants because he's now or he or she is going to start accepting this connection no more hiding from this connection and then we have got number 23 which is five which is change which is all about a new chapter and then we've got number one whoa there you go new beginnings that's it i don't have anything more to say <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in i wish you all the best take care bye